Mr. Smallhead. That's his name. I'm so serious. They they reveal it in the series. And his, his name, name is, is Mr. Mr. Smallhead. Smallhead. <laughs> Everything is so literal. It is. Because you gotta like watch where you step because you might step on a manhole, which is a hole with a dude's face on it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't That's step why they on call a it a manhole. Face. Being literal is fun. I missed the Beetlejuice series now, come to think about it. It was like four or five seasons out of it. Was it? Uh-huh. They showed him on Nickelodeon, right? At one point, yeah. At one point. Let's talk philosophy. Do you guys think that series was really meant for kids? Do you guys think? What? So do you guys think that series was really meant for kids? I don't know. Because in the first episode, you can see Lydia wearing a wedding ring. The very first episode. Her wearing the wedding ring that he gave her in the movie? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Never thought of it. I don't know that. And there's like a bunch of subtle hints in it that tell you, you know, like they're kind of... She's older than... You know, the 12 year old she Well, you know, Invader Zim wasn't meant for children. <laughs> they still watched it? They still watched it. I didn't care. I love that show. Um. The show my life. You guys want to see some really epic subliminal messages? Watch Disney movies. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, heard, I, I already know about those. I know. I already know about those. Same here. <laughs> my, 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 friend, my friend told me about them. You ruined my childhood. knew that, right? I don't think that I knew it was a lie. The little hidden sex message in and the, um, the, and the dust King. of the Lion King. And then the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, the castle. Yeah.